What is up guys, Rome here from Team Duel League and I am doing a deck profile for Cyber Dragon for July 2020. Um, this is by far the best build. Um, as of right now, there has been an announcement for a uh, Cyber Style Structure deck. Uh, I guess it's a second rank for uh, the, the poll um, that's going to have a support. But I'm kind of hoping that Cyber Style is based off of a uh, Cyber Ogre or the other Cyber um, Style uh, monsters like Cyber Dark or again Cyber Ogre. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to make a deck profile to showcase the uh, the July 2020 uh, version. And also kind of like using it as a reference because by far this is the uh, the best build I've, uh, I've had. Uh, the most consistent version I've had so uh, let's get on to it so for uh, the main deck uh, we have like the uh, new kind of character from uh, Toon Chaos character the dark version of Zane Truesdale but it still has a cyber cyber end in the in the background uh, as you guys can see I'm I'm a big fan of like the cyber style I even have like the clock math for uh, Chimera Tech Over Dragon and Cyber End and I have like a customized um, manga version of the mat. So yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I have a uh, triple cyber, uh, cyber dragon. Uh, I try to max this out in like German. Because most of the cyber dragon card fun fact are, are actually based off of a uh, German language. So yeah. I'll, I'll, go, get, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of explain that uh, throughout the video. So, triple cyber dragons, the bread and butter of the, the whole deck, uh, really great, uh, basically you're just you're a utility box. Um, triple core, uh, ironically, uh, it, it, it's a core of the deck, so it, it searches everything, searches your spell and trap, your spell and trap searches your monster, uh, it started to play uh, scene core uh, into your opening hat is really great. Uh, to extend that, we have triple hearse. Uh, hearse will give you the uh, the advantage of adding a cyber dragon from your deck or recycling your cyber dragon uh, from the graveyard. Uh, if it is in the graveyard, you can add core back because they're all cyber dragon uh, name uh, in, in the grave. But uh, if you're adding from the deck, it has to be the, the original cyber dragon. Uh, to top it off, we have the Triple Naxter. I love playing Triple Naxter. I, I love seeing it um, uh, early in a game. Uh, I'm not going to cut this down to two or so. Because this brings back Rampage. This brings back Nova, uh, Infinity, or even Seeger. Or even the original Cyber Dragon as an extender. So, uh, I love Naxter. Uh, it's also a level one. So, you can ha you have like other plays with this too. I'll, I'll show you later on. Um, one Fear. Uh, fear is more of just like a, an extender. The the uh, boost for the attack rarely comes up. Cyber Dragon has a lot of uh, uh, attack boost, and I also play triple limiter, uh, so it's it's not something that I utilize a, a lot. But um, using it as an extender is really good. Also, the fact that it's level four, a different level from everyone else, makes it super viable for uh, cybernetic overflow. Um, uh, for non cyber dragons, I play double galaxy soldier. It, it's searchable by the repair plant. Uh, I used to play uh, triple, but there's other cards that I could play a lot more. But and and this is searchable, so I cut it down to two, and it works out still great. So um, triple Jizukiro. I honestly have never seen anyone play triple uh, of the the kaiju. I love the Jizukiro because there's a lot of plays, uh, especially with the newer build. You have six level ones, and the level one cyber dragon you can also search from either repair plant or uh, cyber emergency. So there's a lot of ways you can you can uh, start up with it. Uh, you can place the Jizukiro just a little on top of uh, the extra monster zone, uh, and summon Anima, uh, the uh, Link version of Relinquish, and it uh, uh, take this as a an equip card. Uh, and also at the same time, it's a light machine. You can give one of your copies to your opponent and then summon your version to your side and uh, contact fusion with the one that you just gave them. Basically, and you have you have a lot of ways to get rid of this. You have um, Infinity, you have I, I, Anima, uh, you have uh, contact fusion and, and such. Uh, 
and it gives you like a free uh, free way to summon your own uh, your own Jizu Kiro to your side of the field and 3300 attack with limiter that gives you like a whole lot of power so uh, triple Jizu Kiro uh, worst case scenario you can use it as a, as a discard father for galaxy soldier or uh, uh, Naxter so yeah uh, that's it for the monsters for the spell we have triple cyber emergency uh, it's pretty much staple for any cyber uh, cyber dragon deck. It searches out your core, core searches everything, or this searches whatever you're missing from your combo uh, combo hand. Uh, double repair plant. I was playing one for the longest time, but I missed those times where I was playing two, and I was I was always uh, searching every turn after turn after turn. So, um, and plus the fact that we play uh, triple Jiskira. That makes that engine a lot faster. Um, uh, one uh, cyber rev system because it does revive a cyber dragon from the grave, uh, and also a uh, one from your hand. So this doesn't target. So if they DD curl something, then you can still revive it. Uh, also, the fact that it can't be destroyed by card effects is is also good. But that rarely comes out because when you when you use this as an, ex as an extender, you pretty much go for a game. Uh, Cyberload Fusion is great because if you're running out of place or you're trying to go for like the uh, remaining remaining life points, uh, you just go for Cyberload Fusion as I for game. Uh, triple Machine Dupe. You have Core, Naxter, uh, Hearse, and you can also revive them. So there's a lot of ways that you can uh, utilize Machine Dupe, and it just gives you a whole lot more um, options for your place. Triple overload fusion i've seen a lot of cyber dragon builds they always play one overload fusion even, um, back in the days they don't even play overload fusion but when rampage came out uh i've utilized rampage a whole lot more it it's it's not just for otking uh it's it's a it's a toolbox because you can use rampage effect on the first turn and dump hers and core and core will add back to your hand so there, there's a lot of plays that you can use with uh over uh overload overload fusion so ever since the start of time i've always played uh triple overload fusion i even i even maxed out on like the cyber dragon stuff and even played uh tune cyber dragon because one it's a level five it's a light machine and also you can use uh tune cyber dragon to to uh, as a material for overload fusion so yeah um triple limiter uh, you'll never see me play a machine deck without a uh, limiter except for super heavy samurai and some like the kind of ran random machine build that doesn't um, I, uh, use this uh, limiter as an advantage so yeah but most of the time triple limiter it steals game uh, gives you ridiculous plays uh, and it's been uh, one of my favorite cards uh, ever since uh, double desires I still love Desires. I love that, that draw engine. Uh, my theory in this is that you're going to banish 10 cards. Depending on your build, those 10 cards you won't even see because it's either going to be your opponent going for OTK um, or your opponent has way too much advantage that you're going to lose anyways. So you're never going to see those 10 cards. Or you're going to banish those 10 cards, give you those two cards that will end up giving you the game anyways. So um uh banishing those 10 cards won't really matter if you can uh win the the ne that turn or the next turn so uh for another two of is twin twister uh back road destruction make sure your otk goes through and for the one offs foolish burial uh dumping uh core dumping hers dumping naxter or even the og cyber dragon it, it has depending on your opening hand it has a lot of uh, place it's ridiculous and in monster reborn because it's the best extent that there is you can reborn a nova put an infinity on top or reborn infinity uh, or reborn naxter and then reborn another another monster so uh, for the traps we play double cybernetic overflow really great card it's a searcher for your cyber spell and trap and at the same time you pop um cards and it doesn't target uh so your pop cards, depending on how many you can potentially banish. And then the last trap would be uh, Infinite Impermanence. Uh, I really love this card. Um, at first, I really just like it because of the art. 
but the the card the, the card itself is really good it, it's amazing so um giving you like that that chance to negate uh, a monster's effect uh if there's any kind of like floodgate ish um type of monster and then go off with your play so yeah all right so off with the extra deck we have all mirage um anima for the link ones uh you have a lot of level ones all mirage so you can put your core to the graveyard making your repair plant uh, live right away so that's really good we have anaconda which is a super super great um support for any kind of like fusion based deck uh you can make you can make your nova um uh, infinity uh, you can make your plays and then in the end if you have like two extra monsters that you can link off you can link off into uh, verte anaconda and then just dump overload fusion and go into rampage which is phenomenal uh clifford genius is still super helpful uh the fact that you can negate like one one card from your side and one card on your side and it's not affected by spell and trap and link monster effect there's there's times where it, it, it can be really great uh I, I don't know if a lot of pe uh, a lot of players have used this version of the effect, but uh, machine duping and summoning two monsters where it points to, add, gives you an additional um, machine monster. So you can add Galaxy Soldier, you can add um, uh, Jizu Kiru. That helps out a lot. Uh, Cliff Fort with a machine dupe uh, is is an extended combo. Uh, Seeger, well, you only want to you only want to really want to run one. Because you can revive it with so many different versions. It, it can be revived by Naxter. Um, it can be... Uh, it, it, most of the time when you summon this guy anyways, it, it's going to be game. Because you summon uh, Seeger and then Rampage. Uh, pumping Rampage attack with Limiter. It, that's pretty much game. So you really only need one. Uh, for the Exceed, Double Nova, Double Infinity that's pretty much what you all just need if you need anything more than the two and two you're either falling behind in the game um which you're gonna end up losing anyway so um either that or by the time you summon the the second infinity you have guaranteed game uh i play one during doll it, it's a it's a good another good rank five a generic rank five because i also play draw lockbird so if uh if sighting um occurs i can uh i can summon this and then uh end up using the draw unlock to give them uh that uh zero hand card uh for the fusion since i'm a fan of rampage i play triple version of them uh because you can use you can use one for the first turn you can use one for the otk and if it's stopped you have the third one for to uh to go for um uh, the third rampage and make sure you you get that uh otk and then the last two would be Chimera Tech Fortress and Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. Well, that's one of the things that made Cyber Dragon popular is the uh, contact fusion. So you can contact fusion with a uh, um, a floodgate esque uh, type of uh, link monster, or um, you can just Kiru one of their monster and then contact fusion with it, getting rid of like the problem. So yeah, this is the best build I have uh, so far. I am super comfortable with this build, uh, uh, playing with playing with it and everything. So if there is any other support for Cyber Style, hopefully it just kind of makes the deck a whole lot better than what it already is. Or I'm kind of hoping it's just more support for Cyber Ogre or Cyber Dark. But yeah, if you have any uh, uh, comments or suggestions, let, let me know. And if you guys want to try out the build, feel free to. But it's mainly as a ref using it as a reference. If I want to go back to this this uh, uh, version of like my uh, Cyber Dragon build, so yeah, that is it. Peace out.